Good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video I will be discussing about this palm now uh, you know this was a kind of palm which I received few days back and it was a quite an interesting palm and a lot of predictions were quite accurate and I'll be trying to discuss that in this video now first of all you know uh, what we can clearly see in this palm is there are fewer lines okay and uh, that's what I observe so the minute you see fewer lines only you know main lines are present there were no fine lines there were no a lot of random lines so this definitely indicated that this person is not a person who gets nervy very easily the person uh, you know and is and the person also uh, looks uh, or looked very calm and composed so that's what happens when you have very few random lines that is you know tiny lines all over the place so that's that wasn't the case now another interesting point which i did find in the hand was also the presence of the ring of solomon and also i saw that the heart line and the fate line okay that is you this is your job line and this is your heart line both were getting attracted towards the ring of solomon and again this obviously meant in a way that this person was uh, you know somehow attracted to occult and was quite sensitive always remember the presence of the of this kind of ring which is known as the ring of solomon indicates towards a personality who is uh, sensitive and also interested into occult and you know generally these people are very caring okay something must have happened in their life or something happened because of which they uh, advanced intuitively and became excessively caring okay so that uh, you can have a you know cross check on that but again the presence of ring of solomon and other lines were also getting attracted to it also suggested somehow that Jupiter is very strong okay so Jupiter is very strong would mean that the person and also the Jupiter finger was quite tall okay taller than this actually okay quite tall so that also meant that you know the person was uh, uh, having good amount of leadership qualities and also you know was uh, quite sensitive and you know uh, uh, the person was very good in giving instructions as well so that is what first thing which we can clearly see again the heart line gets sucked into the you know it gets sucked into the mount of jupiter and kind of goes in this again indicates towards a person who who wants a partner who is very idealistic okay uh, not very idealistic who is very social kind of a person who is uh, famous for whom status is important something like that so the person who possesses such heart line always looks for a partner who who is popular or maybe status driven okay and again uh, the point is that the person himself or herself would be a bit status driven okay now the <clears throat> next important thing which i also saw in the palm was the marriage line which was going down something like this now again this indicates towards a strong relationship okay and a long relationship and the one which was felt strongly that's why it came into the hand but nevertheless it started going downwards this always indicates somehow as i've discussed also in the videos that it can indicate that the person was into a relationship but was kind of dominated or was dominating the relationship and that in in this case it was that the other person was dominating this person though the relationship existed for quite a long time so that is another thing which we can see from the long relationship line now the lines which come on the side of the palm are known as the relationship lines okay these lines which come above somewhere here now another interesting point which i also found in the palm was the presence of partial uh, you know bow of intuition okay it was kind of rare you you could see them in patches they were it was not a continuous bow of intuition this is known as the bow of intuition and this was not a surprise because see bow of intuition indicates towards intuition and so does ring of solomon so they both kind of complement each other this can also mean that the person has a jupiter moon strong because this is the amount of moon and jupiter moon strong means jupiter moon conjunction might be a possibility or maybe both jupiter and moon are doing well but in any case the person had a very strong uh, you know ring of solomon was present uh, sorry ring of intuition bow of intuition was present but it was not continuous that was the drawback and the person did admit that you know he would get impressions about things he would get to know what you know he would be able to guess things well again this adds on to the sensitivity as well 
Again, an interesting point also seen was that the person had a very strong 8th house okay now one would be very interested if someone is into astrology you would also know that the eighth house uh, represents interest in occult okay and that's why this made a lot of sense as well the person had a very strong bow of intuition which which uh, if you also want to backtrace it astrological wise it indicates towards a strong eighth house and this was also true okay astrologically eighth house indicates towards uh, an interest in occult now apart from that i also saw the fish symbol in the palm see fish symbol generally indicates towards success it indicates towards some kind of uh, you know big success coming along the way uh, but uh, you know uh, you have to see now you, now the fish was like that i just you know drew forward something like this i drew where it was facing so it was facing the mount of saturn and also it was facing upwards okay the fish face was something like this and the, you could see the tail here and the minute it, it actually points towards the Mount of Saturn, it becomes quite clear that the person would get success because of Saturnian qualities. The person will get success due to sheer hard work. The person will get success because of uh, his patience, because of his responsibility kind of a nature. Because the face of the fish goes towards Saturn, it itself is placed in the region of Ketu. So again, it can mean that the person has a very strong Ketu and a very strong Saturn and the person will somehow get success because of the same. Now apart from that another interesting feature as we already know that there was an independent head and the lifeline obviously which indicated towards an independent mind and also the headline was sweeping down to the Mount of Moon which is always an indication of a person who is good in imagination and is good in linguistics or in, in vocabulary and things like that and the person is a very good writer as well. So again that kind of confirms that. Now an interesting event also occurred at the person's 37th year, okay, at the 37th year the person had a break in a major relationship, okay, this relationship and then uh, though the relationship continued but it was never normal and this we can see again the relationship starting over here, okay, the line went in till here and then there was a shift. So the parallel to the lifeline inside these are known as the relationship lines and then they continued and kind of and there was a cross also marked again cross indicates towards strong changes in life and so at this juncture of life that was at the age of 37 or so the person faced a drastic uh, you know change in relationship and because this line went away okay now this gap was smaller and this gap became weaker so the relationship also was not that close. So hopefully in this video you got few more points. I'm Shwetank into Palmistry. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.